Hey guys, today I would like to show you how to store your pastel paintings. So you might have um, different pastel paintings that you do not want to frame at one particular moment and you would like to keep these paintings for a longer time and maybe you want to sell them or just to keep them as a memory um, and be able to actually come back to them and see them in the future. With any work you see the pastel, it kind of comes off the surface if you even barely touch it. So what do we do in the case of storing the pastel paintings? So I'll show you how I store my paintings. So here are a couple of mine. And you can see I'm using tracing paper. Here's my painting and it's completely protected by the tracing paper. And I attach the tracing paper on the back with the masking tape. So these are works done on sandpaper. So you can see it's perfectly protected and the pastel does not come off because this being such a glossy um, surface, it does not um, take the color off of the surface of the painting. So again, this is another work and I will show you also the same thing goes for works on Mitton's paper. So this is an ingress type of paper. So I attached it. You can take larger sheets of um, tracing paper. For example, they usually come in sets of pastel paper. So here is a page from a pastel block and it has a tracing paper with it. So it's very neat to not to have to buy any additional tracing paper when you're buying uh, professional pastel paper. So how do you um, actually attach this paper? So I'm covering my image. I'm taking masking tape. Just enough. I'm placing the image upside down. And folding this edge. Now I can stick it. And there we go. Like this, the image will be protected. And now all these images, I can collect them, put them one on top of the other, and put them in a rigid um, folder. So it's very important to keep the paintings in a rigid folder so as not to have them um, crumpled or um, get damaged in any other way. And this way, after years, if you didn't want to hang your painting, you can come back to it and it's going to be perfectly fine. So I hope you found this useful and if you know any other ways of storing pastel paintings, I would love to hear that as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!